Hey guys, welcome back. This is part 6 of my Aria Sorrow run, and interesting note, I'm actually going to start off with a boss fight, because I don't feel like exploring the outer wall right now. This is an actual boss fight, not just um, a random enemy that's like relatively strong for the stage of the game, so yeah, Headhunter. Um, yeah, this first form's like nothing. I don't even know what it attacks with, to be honest with you. I guess stab me with that toothpick, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a toothpick size knife, and her head's a lot. So, yeah, that head changes her entire body, and now it's a he, so. I don't know if anyone's seen, like, um, the sequel to, uh, uh, The Wizard of Oz, but basically there was a head hunter there, and that scene was pretty freaky, <laughs> and, uh, it made me laugh. Um, I, I only saw that via the Angry Video Game Nerd, and, and, yeah, check that guy out if you want to see what I'm talking about, but, yeah, I think that this is probably what that's based off of, unless it's, like, something else in mythology, but, yeah. not especially hard until a third form, like, this one you just have to kind of keep your range and keep, like, not too close to the floor, I guess. Yeah, actually just keep your range. As long as you're not, like, directly under him, it shouldn't be too hard to absorb, I mean, to, to um, dodge lightning or, or fireballs, which are his only two attacks, and now he's fallen. And this is actually going to be a relatively difficult part of the fight, um, because you know, he pulls a Yoshi and he's got a fucking long ass tongue, and he actually is an enemy that can outrange me <laughs> when it comes to basic attacking anyway. And the bullet skull I'm using right now, Archer Skull, uh, Skull Archer, um, not especially useful because he tends to move around. And yeah, I don't want to get hit by that because poison, like, aside from like the obvious damage, poison will weaken you. And, you know, I don't want to have to rely on Skull Archer for damage right now. That's just, that's just bad. Yeah, I see the fucker dodge. And, alright, she cool, last minute, um, backdash dodging, like, um, I would have to crouch into, oh, fuck, I'm poisoned. But anyway, um, I would have to crouch into hit at that point anyway, and, you know, I can't backdash out of crouches, so that's kind of, kind of hard. And, fuck. And just forgot to mention that Skull Archer only hits him on the ceiling, so that's kind of bad. And at least I'm, you know, not poisoned anymore. Okay, I'm just lucky I got that hit in early, otherwise I would have definitely gotten hit. <laughs> so judging by, um, judging by the bars, uh, my health bar and my magic bar, this is not like. This is not gonna be. This is not an easy boss fight. Yeah, my health's low and my magic's kind of low. So that was actually my first legitimate challenge at this point in my time. And I don't recall him doing that, so I didn't really expect him to you know, jump at me. I don't think that's meant to be like. Sounds like a soul I might use later, but right now I obviously don't have too many souls, so um, my stats aren't going to increase too much from its ability. Might as well take that. That's the only one. Okay, now for my quest to find the next area of the castle. And now there are Durgas instead of Curlies. And I'm just gonna save at that save point right there, just because. It's a save point, and I got Jim I don't know why I'm stopping to kill this one, but well, just the way I am. I remember this part. <laughs> yeah, I remember this part. Basically, I can't go here yet, as you have seen. And I'm. I really want to kill this nemesis because I'm hoping for a cool soul. Maybe a guardian soul that's like familiar or something. That would be so cool. I don't know if anyone remembers SOTN, but uh, 
Yeah, the sword brothers. That was my favorite familiar. I like having a floating sword around. And eventually you get to like use him as a weapon instead of just a familiar. But I digress. I want some more useful soul. I insist on hitting all the candles I will buy when my magic is like not amazing. It's it's full, I mean but... So yeah, I flip the candles. <laughs> I'm not even getting like a decent amount of money out of all of them. And yay, next area. Sweet. See that one freaking dollar. That was chandelier. I think the chandelier was more more than a dollar. And I can't go here because I don't have a soul to slide on the floor. Well, I'm assuming it's a soul because everything in this game is a soul, every power you get. So apparently I need a soul to learn how to do that. But if it's any consolation, in the next game he just knows how to do it. And no, none of the souls carried over. They like had some kind of writer's convenience so that um, when you play a Soma again, he has to get all of his powers back. The parrots and codes. Oh yeah, forgot. There's a bunny with a watch there. I guess this place is just the same area or something, or, you know, transition in the next area, but you don't have to be here for a while. You don't have, like, jack shit. Yeah, I was debating whether or not to heal first. No, so, yeah, that chunk of health could be very significant. All in all, I just have to start playing less recklessly. Because I'm used to being very overpowered in Castlevania. You know, by the end you're gonna be really overpowered. Maybe overleveled. But I'm actually going for, like, you know, some kind of decent looking run and everything. Like, I'm not gonna have time to just sit here and, um and grind like I usually would when just playing without a camera. Haha. <laughs> ah, that was my arrow. <laughs> you should rewind and look at that scene again where um that the Valkyrie runs into my arrow that I laid for it. And wow, discs armors are a bitch in this game. Well at least they like they kind of fight the same as their newer counterparts. They really up to the quality on sprites when it came to disc armors later on. I dig the music for this stage. It's so good. And goddamn! <laughs> Fucking A, I was crouching and everything. Well, I guess I should. There he is. Watch me small and. Uh, the fuck up on my part. Sword whip. Okay, that's gonna be too small to actually get through, so I'm tired of getting hit, so I'm gonna indeed walk on water surfaces. So I get to be Jesus. <laughs> Trying not to get hit. Maybe I Ooh, a new sword. Maybe this will help. Yay! Lots more powerful. And it's faster, so yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, so I can go in, sneak two hits, and then get the fuck out before you knew what hit him. Ah. And the fucker. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is that particular disc armor, because he's in a very enclosed space. I don't want to risk it. But yeah, now I have the hunting. 
fronting wound. Fronting. There's a there's a version of that sword in like every Catholic game. But this one's apparently like poison like. Anyway, it's a good sword. Much more powerful than the whip sword, and it's faster. And it's got a decent amount of range. But that's not especially important. Now back to the helpful soul. And yeah, never mind, I think. Okay, now I know where to go, because now I can walk on water. I really want to avoid getting hit now, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'll this the way to the warp. Oh yes, that feels amazing. One shot. Wow, oh, hunting. These things are still incredibly durable, but now I can outmaneuver them because I don't have a monstrous amount of lag at the end of everything I do. I always enjoy watching Soma warp. Just because he always has that cool charging state pose. No, oh, look at me and just... Okay. Uh, stop here, and I will see you guys at segment 7.